welcome back to the Scottish Hero and look at what just happened. The man, the myth, the legend, Gorjaev, the one that got ninja from me. Uh, the other club stole him. I said no to the offer and my board overruled me. He got released after just one season. He's now a three transfer. Maybe we should sign him back for next season. Uh, yeah, I'm not certain. Maybe, maybe we should. Uh, today is the big day. It's the final. And uh, we're up against a team from the Premiership. And for the Falker game, I was really like skeptical. Like I thought that we were most likely going to lose it. We'd have faced off against them four times in the league. And they won three and one draw. We hadn't managed to beat them once. I kind of like felt for that game that, okay, this is it. Now it's going to be game over. And uh, yeah, that was basically what it felt like. This is going to be game over. It was fun while it lasted. We'll have to try to do better next season. And then after two draw games, we managed to get that sensational win on penalties. And I never expected that one. It was a huge thing. And for this game, like for, for, for the last game, I thought like, okay, this is it. We're going to lose. For this game, I'm weirdly enough pretty, pretty calm. I mean, they are huge favorite coming from the Premiership. I mean, their most expensive player is probably cost like the same amount as our, our whole team or something like that. But I feel like we have nothing to lose. And we have a slight, maybe we might have a slight morale advantage because we're having a pretty good season. People are happy. And since they were fighting like for relegation, they probably have had a lot of losses, which probably means that they are low on morale and so on. Could, could help us. But I mean, they are huge favorites. And of course, you're going to get a nightmare start as always. I've done that in all the latest games. We always concede one first. I'm not even surprised it happened so many times. But yeah, yeah, I feel like we have nothing to lose. Like, if he loses this game, it's going to be okay. Like, nobody expected anything else. Um, like, we've done a good, solid season. Just promoted from, from the league below and done a season very well like this one. So I feel like that would be okay. But at the same time, I was looking... I mean, we could win. If we get lucky, we need to get lucky. We need to have a really good stint here. Uh, I've noticed that they had like two players injured. I have no idea if how important those players are if they're being regular starters, but maybe they have, and that could be good for us. I also noticed that the team that won our league, they're actually in the final of the Scottish Cup. And they have managed to knock out a few premiership teams, like even big dogs like Celtic, they managed to knock out. And of course, their team are better than ours. They are stronger than ours. But, I mean, we're not up against Celtic. We're up against a team that ended in the bottom two. So, this should not be impossible. It's definitely not going to be easy. We're definitely not favorites. And we will most likely lose. But it's not impossible. Like, it could happen. And if it doesn't happen, I'm okay with it. I have four to five minutes here of the first leg. And I really feel like if, if it's going to happen... We need to be scoring because it's at home we, want, we need to take points. It covers for the free kick. And look at this, look at this, look at this. It's Wilson. It's Wilson. And his third goal this season. Yeah, it's at home we need to take points because it's going to be so hard away. And that was exactly what we needed. Covers for the free kick. Brings it up and kind of bounces it from Martin to Wilson. And he gets an open net. And of course, I can't miss that one. Even though it's a volley with an open net, it should be a goal. So, yeah, things just got a little bit more exciting. It certainly did. And here's Stanton with the corner. Goes far. Oh, my God. The, the player saved it on the goal line. But this could also be a dangerous counter-attack. Come on, lads. Wilson picks this up, though. And that's it. I think it's time to take a look here at the subs. First off, let's see who's having a shitty day. Smith is definitely having a shitty day. So let's bring in Brunt instead. As a target man, that's what he do best. And then we have quite a few other lads with shitty games. I think we could uh, replace Reed with uh, with uh, Linton, and then going to leave it like this for some time in case we get an injury. Yes, for a few more minutes. McLaughlin to throw in. Easton, Easton advances. 
Breaks it to the middle. Look at this. Look at... Oh, that was just outside the post. I was really close to start celebrating there. That could have gone even better. But I didn't. And uh, let's do like this. I don't want to go, go, all, to go all out attacking. Because it's not worth losing it. But, I mean, the clock is ticking. And... This, this is not bad. A draw against a team from the Premiership is not bad. Not at all. This is definitely a pretty good result. But at the same time, this were our chance. How are we going to beat them away? But I mean, we, we managed to take a point at home. We can definitely take a point away. So let's move ahead to that, to the second leg. And here we are, and as you can see, I made huge changes. It's only been two days rest between the games, and I've decided to uh, rotate every single player except McCallum and Wilson. Everybody else getting rotated, and that means using a weaker team. But this is of course a gamble, because they will be huge favorites at their home pitch. So I've done it before, you know it. I'm hoping that this can help us. Using a little weaker team, but fresh legs. Hoping that their team will be a little bit more tired and we can take advantage of it. But yeah, this is a gamble. But at the same time, I feel like we have nothing to lose here. We are playing at their home ground. They are huge favorites. And we have everything to win and nothing to lose. And a lot of them is motiv motivated. That's what, exactly what we needed here for start. But yeah, they will most likely be huge, huge favorites here. But uh, I mean, we have nothing to lose. Let, let's actually take a look quickly. Did our small gamble work here? And kind of not. Looks like they have been doing a lot of rotation. Because there's only Campbell here. All of the other guys looks like they've been more or less rotated. So... That gamble didn't work, but the guys we rotated away, some of them were down to 80 something percent fitness levels, so kind of feel like we couldn't start with them anyways. But uh, yeah, that definitely puts us in a rough uh, situation and it's a lot tougher here. That was a bit optimistic, but if that's going to be the way they want to finish against our goals, I hope they will do it that way the whole game. Because if they keep on doing it like that, they won't score. And that's an injury for them. Not serious one though, so I'm guessing he is still playing. Other than that, not, like that long shot, nothing has happened here during the first half. And uh, it's almost only going to be 10 minutes left here. Clock keeps on. Oh, and he is injured. Uh, hoping that's good news for us. Hopefully, that was one of the stronger players. But yeah, looks like we're going to reach the half time whistle here with nothing going on at all. Because that highlight wasn't like even much of a highlight. And uh, yeah, two minutes of extra time probably because of the injury. And uh, another yellow card it looks like. So we are collecting them. But yeah, at first half there basically nothing happened. Still need the guys to be fired up. Need you to be performing. And... Uh, I mean, if it's going to be like this, I mean, if you get one chance, that could be enough for the game. So uh, I'm not displeased with the first half, even though we didn't create shit. Take a look here at the shots, like 11-3. But they haven't managed to create like a real dangerous highlight. I probably shouldn't be saying things like that, because you know what happens when, when you do. Uh, but he's downing with the corner. Clear by defense, though. And uh, come on, lads, win it back. Win it back. They're coming with a lot of players here and uh, focusing on that. Oh, that was another long shot like the first one. What the heck? Thank you. If you is that going to be the way you're going to play, guys? I'm completely fine with it. You can do that all day. 
Because uh, if you play like that, we will be completely fine in the defense. Um, see here. Any decent options? What do you want to do? Useless playing like dog shit. So you're out. Someone's back in. Not back in, but in for this game. It started the last one, of course. A kind of weird game that nothing really has happened. But maybe I shouldn't say it. Here's my color. Miss waterfall. Waterfall. You see, nothing. Nothing stupid now, guys. Nothing stupid. Linton. Linton's very like nobody wants to help him. Why did he just turn around, pass it back, Linton? Completely unnecessary doing things like that. Oh, look at this defense. This lad over here, like. Oh, just letting him be alone. I don't like it. And he's off the post. He's off the post. Oh my god. Oh my god. That now thinks he's alive. He's Smith. Smith, what are you gonna do? Downling his floor. Floor is that was no side. I think that was no side. I'm not celebrating it. I think that was no side. It's a goal! 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 It's either Smith! It's a goal! It's a goal! This is this is crazy! This is crazy! It's a goal! It's a goal! Oh my god! It's a goal! Guys, this is real! This is real! Now we need to oh my god, it's a goal. Now we need to go crazy here in the defense. What can we do? Um this is uh, this is madness. What we're going to do is let's see Flores and Dowling. Who's the most tired of you guys? Kind of at the same same level. Flores is uh, having the weakest of the game still. So let's bring him down here. And uh, let's see. Do I have any actually option for somebody that can play in this position? Kind of don't have that. Um. What would be an okay option? We could actually go with one extra central defender instead. Playing it really, really crazy here. And I want you to really mark tighter. Mark tighter. Mark tighter. And oh my god, this is this is madness. I'm just doing a lot of thinking now. Look at the clock. We definitely we are going to waste time by trying to retain possession. Everything like this. Okay, guys, look at the clock. This could be sensational. This could be crazy. This could be... Uh, I'm lacking words. I'm lacking words. Take a look at the replay here. Here's Smith, Dowling, or Flores. And look at his pass, and it's just on the offside line. I'm not sure if it was over or not, but it makes no mistakes when he gets a chance like that, Smith. And this is crazy. I'm just staring at the clock right now. Like, I can't take my eyes off it. I, I can barely breathe. I think we need to skip it because it's going on. To... Oh my god. Like, my, I can't take my eyes off the clock. And I can just feel like my palms, my hands are getting sweatier and sweatier. And this Linton with a free kick. Oh, this is really dangerous. He's going to be alone with the goalie. Guys, what's going on? We are playing on defense with the defense instruction. Why is the whole team up there? But Wilson, Wilson, what? And M VIP, what? MYP, Wilson. Hey, Smith. Guys, remember now, I'm having the defense position. You shouldn't be dribbling alone. You should just take it easy, pass it back. That's not how you play defense and not how you waste time. You should turn around, go back. Look at the clock. Look at the clock. Look at the clock. It's full time. 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 
Tive sair. Sorry for being so quiet. I missed. Wow. And guys, you can't see it. That achievement just popped up. Because uh, when I'm recording this, it's only capturing the game, and the achievement is from Steam. But I'm going to print screen it, put it in the video. We have done it. We have done it. This is what we've been fighting for all these 30 plus something episodes since this began. It's the first season in the lowest league and the Scottish league, the lowest league. And we've been fighting season after season, struggling with the financials. We're still dirt broke. Oh, now we must have got a transfer budget for next season since we won, because we did definitely didn't have nowhere near this amount of money last time I looked. But still, dirt broke 15% of uh, transfer revenues made. Last time I looked, it was uh, below 10k. So we must have got a transfer budget for next season. Somewhere here, if we, yeah, here, board sets initial budget. But still, for the Premiership and a budget of 50, 50k, just a team that we beat that had players that were valued like over 1 mil. But guys, I'm so happy right now. This, this is it. If, if it wasn't like uh, copyright restrictions and things like that, I would be playing We Are The Champions now. The music would be perfect for this. But I am so happy. And yeah, this is what we've been fighting for. Every single season, Clyde, we started here at the bottom as low as it can get. And they started and they, they then had a few seasons without me, a few seasons without me. And then we came in and we started to go up. We started to go up, we started to go up. And we have finally made it to the top league. Which means we got the achievement. The old achievement called Scottish Hero is no more. But we got a new achievement called National Hero. We bring a team from the highest league. Or from the lowest league to the highest. And that means we've reached our goal. And I am just so, so very, very happy. Fantastic. What a journey it's been. So many episodes, going through season after season, and this is just beautiful. Like, I was certain that it was game over when we, we got Falkir. Like, I, I, I thought it was over. And for this game, I, like, I didn't even, like, they were from the Premiership. We have nothing to worry about. If we lose this one, we are out, like, and that's what everybody expects. But that's, that's a dream. But that also means that this was the last episode of this series, because we've reached the goal, we've got the achievement. And that was this series, what it was all about. And I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to those of you who have been with us for, for all this journey. A few of you that have seen every single episode, but also to those guys that are, have been interested in the series and like checked out an episode here and there. A big thank you to everybody who's tuned in. I'm so happy right now. I'm quiet because I'm lacking words. I don't know what to say. I'm just so very, very happy. And actually, I might, I'm not promising everything, but I kind of have fallen in love with Clyde. So there will be maybe a small chance that I will do a new series in the future that starts with this save it's going to be if i if i do i'm not promising anything guys but if you like that idea let me know in chat not in chat but in in the comments probably won't happen but i'm kind of falling in love with clyde could be a small small chance that i did a save that starts at this state or, or at least after pre-season with the gold to dethrone Celtic. because if you know Celtic, look at this they've won every single damn season so might considering doing a save 
where we try to win the premiership and that's of course going to probably take a lot of season but that could be really cool if you liked it today let me know in the comments i'm not promising anything but i kind of fallen in love in clyde kind of feel like i want the clyde story to continue but i don't know that's it for this this series for this journey i'm just so happy massive massive thank you to all you guys and yeah that was the last episode of Scottish Hero. See you in the future in other series. Goodbye.